before we delve into today's topic do you know that great scottish inventors have revolutionized the world time and time again some of the gifts of scotland to the mankind are television penicillin mri scanner refrigerator toaster daily disposable contact lens atm color photograph flushing toilet fingerprinting steam engine pneumatic tire vacuum flask and so many more just imagine your life without them but what about blackboards how did it came into existence was the scottish responsible for this too let's find out for centuries erasable slates were the primary tool in the classrooms Students used to practice reading and writing on their slates. Stone slates were popular once, but they lost the race to enamel, tin, plastic, cardboard slates. Slates were cheap and durable alternative for expensive paper and ink. In 1800s, during one of the geography lessons, school's headmaster wanted to teach students about maps, and that too, bigger maps. So, after a lot of brainstorming, he came up with the idea of connecting a number of smaller slates into single grand wheel. The headmaster's name was James Pillans. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. And guess what? He was a Scottish classical scholar and educational reformer who taught in Old High School of Edinburgh. Well, there was another invaluable gift by Scotland Centre to us. The term blackboard was not used until 1815, but idea of connecting the slates spread quickly. With this invention, now students just no longer simply listen to their teachers, but also had visual aid. Blackboards were commercially manufactured by 1840. Traditional color of blackboards was black, hence the name. But around 1930s, a green porcelain surface was first used, which cut down the glare, and it became more common. These were the chalkboards. For hundreds of years, chalkboards and blackboards have been staple in the classrooms. Around 1960s. white boards first appeared they were not widely used when they first came but these began replacing blackboard starting from 1970s the chalk dust was one of the major factor that contributed for many switching from black to white boards also white boards provided modern newer sleeker and cleaner look than the blackboards Today, due to digitization, electronic white boards are becoming popular, known as digital boards. These are extensively being used in smart classrooms. But where does the blackboard stand today? Are blackboards and chalkboards still used? Well, these both are relatively common in the schools, still, particularly in older schools. having long history in education chalkboards are accessible for many parts of the world they are simple cost effective and easy to use to summarize let me show you the evolution of the blackboard starting from the slates to digital boards hmm so this was today's lecture i hope you got to know more about blackboards I will meet you next time. Until then, stay safe and healthy. Don't forget to wear your masks.